sell in May and go away. Well, I certainly feel like selling up and going away. It's a rather cold spring day in London. But what about the adage, the old stock market adage, sell in May and go away? Well, it refers to the fact that the six months between May and the end of October underperforms compared to the rest of the year. And in fact, if you look at the Wilshire 5000 index, which is an index covering all the active traded stocks in the US, you see that while in the six months from November through to April, it's up an average over the years of around 7%, but only up 2% during the summer. Now, the idea is that you can do better than that 2% by selling out your stocks and putting, in, putting them into different things. But if you stay invested, you could just you know, reap the benefits of the full 9%. That's the other argument. And the other thing, of course, is you don't incur the costs of selling and buying and selling and buying and buying something else and selling that out as well. In fact, you could say that the only people guaranteed to make a profit from this adage are the stockbrokers. But what we can do to help you is to keep your costs tight. That is, we offer low fixed spreads, and that's the most important thing. That will help keep your costs down and help you become a profitable trader. Cheers. Have a good summer.